have to ask you guys, could you see where facial recognition could be used inappropriately to track people who should not be tracked? Imagine you did not want to take the clot shot during 2020, 2021, 2022, and they used facial recognition to not allow you to go to your doctor appointments, to not be able to call an Uber, to not get on public transportation, to not shop in a grocery store. Well, this is what Americans are currently facing, folks. So when you look at China and what China is doing to its own citizens, using facial recognition software, right? To be able to give people a credit score that allows them to purchase food, to go to the movies, or to get an increase in pay in their workplace. Welcome back everybody to Starkey Forum said, yeah, I'm in my bathroom because it's like 112 degrees outside in Louisiana right now and I don't wanna sweat <laughs> this right this minute. But not, my name is Samantha and I am an educator by trade and a homesteader by choice. And something I find very interesting is current and new technology. So let's go back a little bit. Did you guys know that they even used facial recognition to track potential stalkers at one of the biggest concerts in the, the world? Taylor Swift concert. So when you start thinking about that, you can see the good in being able to track people by their face. But I don't think the government ever really thought this through because this is what criminals in police stations, because yes, some police officers and departments are organized criminals, I've done videos on it. They could actually train the AI running the facial recognition to not identify people that they don't want to be seen. Do you understand what I'm saying? essentially creating a ghost person who could create crimes but never be recognized. You have to worry about the wrong people using it for the wrong ways, just like China. I do see the purpose in being able to track missing children. I understand that it'd be a great way like President Trump did in 2017 by facial recognition at the border for undocumented illegal people breaking into our country. Those are great reasons and purposes to use facial recognition. But should it be used on regular people like you and I that aren't out there committing crimes? And then we have to ask those questions. How easy is it to confuse the AI? They do know that people with darker skin tones are people like me that have you know, mismatch skin tone per se, that we can trick it easier. You can change the way that your eyes look. You can even print a 3D mask that 96% of the time can confuse the algorithm. So I'm curious what you think. Should we move towards this police state where every city, every camera could essentially be used in a facial recognition? Or should we do something like California did in San Francisco and Berkeley and basically say it's against the law to use any facial recognition in these areas? I know that in New York, schools were using it to keep their students organized and make sure the children were all accounted for. And instead of keys to get into your apartment, some apartment owners we're using facial recognition to open the door. I don't know, friends. I think this is an area that we should really have a, a deep discussion about and possibly put in some new regu regulations. I could see where this could be abused in so many ways. What if you put into that that you want to track brown people? What if you put in there that you want to track uh, people between the ages of 30 and 50 and get rid of them because those are your fighting age people in this country. What if you want to track conservatives or you want to track liberals? Could you see how this could be abused? Because I most definitely do. I also see how it could be good. So I'm curious what you think. If you would like to get Starkey Formstead's newsletter, 
and be invited to our Zoom, which will be Monday at seven o'clock Central Standard Time. Please look in the top of comments. We were demonetized from YouTube. And when you sign up for the newsletter, however much you can afford to send, that could be a dollar, it could be 30. Please put your email in the memo. It helps us continue to do videos like this. We love you guys so much. Make sure you're still subscribed. The programming that Americans have had shoved down our throat in the past 60 years. We know that the really bad people can afford to get their faces reconstructed. So you do have to think about that. I mean, if AI is finding the points on your face, the shape of your face, and you have all of that changed, is it still gonna recognize you?